Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. Before defending the Sand Fortress here, there's one more thing that I want to do with this guy, and that is buy up to five sleep wings. You don't necessarily need all five, I only really need three at the moment, but they'll help us out a lot coming up here. So, all right, we disabled all, or disarmed all the bombs that they planted in the Sand Fortress. And, yeah, I want to bring... Yeah, I'll just leave Rosh in the party. I was thinking of something else, but no. Uh, I do want Rosh in my party. He can be just as useful as Marco, and, well, he could use the experience. Okay, but we do have one new enemy here. The Webcaps. Guess what element they're weak to? If you say fire, I'm going to hit you. Now, now they are weak to ice! And hopefully I'll be able to take them out pretty quickly here. Let's see, yes. Just go like that. Good frost spell, we'll see. And we got one of them, that's good enough. Yeah, whenever you kill an enemy unit that laid out a trap there, the, or not trap, a field effect there, the field effect will go away. The same applies to Ox traps, though, so you want to watch out for that. Okay, let's see. I think I might be able to finish him. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now, hmm, you got all these guys in the front there. Well, I'll just do the best I can. Let's go, yeah, a good right assault. These guys have no elemental weakness, so I think they're a little stronger than the variety that we met up with before. Even though they have the same name. One nice thing about the remake is that most of the time when there's enemies that have the exact same name, they usually, like in the original version of the game, they usually rename them in this version. Not always, there's still some like this where they still have the exact same name, so it's hard to tell which one's which, but, well, they do that a little more. They change it out a little more in this version, so that's pretty nice. But all right, that's the only new enemy there, the red caps. Got that, and let's see. Yeah, just heal everyone up to full, and I'm not going to fight any of the other enemies. There's enemies all over the place. If you want to fight them, hey, come on. But me personally, nah, we'll be fine. There are no enemies in the actual rooms. They have, like, doors like that to get inside. Well, now we can see all these traps, so we're not worried about that. And... Okay, I think we're good to go. That's all of them. We, it's not over yet. We killed one unit! Damn it, they're persistent. We can't let any of them get into the fortress. Isn't it a little late for that? Our situation must have reached Field Marshal Viola by now. Uh, so, I'm sure she'll come back. We just have to hang in there a little while longer. Just cheer for us from the sidelines there, Keel. Guess it pays to have optimistic subordinates. But Keel's right. That one's the commander. Take him down! Now? For boss time! Okay, so it's in this Viola. fight... All of the enemies here are weak to sleep, which is why I wanted to buy all of those. So, let's see. Yeah, let's go with good left assault, and let's see. Use a sleep wing on them. Hopefully, that'll get both of those guys. Yeah, the agents up front, the swordsmen, those guys are pretty susceptible to sleep there. I mean, more than just the regular weakness. Hmm. I'm just thinking if I want to do something different here. Yeah, let's actually do this. Let's go with a sleep wing on the gray shadow, and then I'll switch here. Okay, good, good. Now, the art, or the bowmen, the archers, whatever, in the back row there, those guys, at least in my experience, seem to be a bit more resistant to sleep. Maybe it's like a magic defense thing or something. So, yeah, we really want to... I'd like to get at least one of them asleep. Okay, if there's only one that's still around, you can kind of tell on the turn cube down below there, then I wouldn't really worry about it. 
I'm not gonna waste another sleep round just for one unit. We're not, they can't even deal that much damage to us. So basically what I like to do in boss fights when the they're actually susceptible or weak to sleep, I like to just, they'll just stay asleep indefinitely. It'll never naturally wear off. So you can just string together a whole bunch of turns over and over and over again until you got 10 turns, that's the maximum that you can get. And then we can just unleash a huge chain of attacks on them. And I'm not really worried about the archer. They can't inflict any status ailments or anything like that. Now, I did set up this chain of turns the way I did because... Or I, I set up the enemies the way I did. So that way, Rosh, who is not really going to be that useful for us otherwise, uh, Rosh can take four consecutive turns to get all the enemies onto one pile there. And then, once we do that, we'll alternate with Air Assault and any elemental spell. It doesn't matter. These guys don't have any protection against that, but eh, I'll mix it up. I'll switch them around. What Air Assault does is it launches them into the air, and then whatever attack you hit them with while they're in the air, once they hit the ground, they'll take 50% more damage of whatever that attack did to them. Not that that's particularly relevant here, but I really don't have anything better for stock to do, so we might as well. Okay, you got them. They're dead. You can stop now. It's finally over. Oh, wow, I'm surprised I got that level. Usually I'm still at level 17 by the time I'm done with all this. All right. <laughs> Captain, the enemy is getting away. Our orders were to defend the fortress. We can't abandon our post. Yeah, they might lead us into a trap. Looks like we managed to defend the fortress. Now all we need is Viola's safe return. Well, hopefully. The enemy might still be nearby. Do not pursue if it means going too far out. Field Marshal, are you okay? Hey! I should be asking you the same. My subordinates helped us get through it in one piece. Yeah, without the bombs and everything to get in our way. Good. You can tell me more once we get inside. It is thanks to you and your men that I can say that at all. You honor our country with your service. Now come. Yeah, we can deal with the black energy all day long. Ha mm. uh ha. -huh. Hmm, I wonder what would have happened if you only found, like, four bombs. Enough. I would assume that the same events would have happened anyway. They're retreating. I prevented the explosions, and we got rid of the troops that got into the fortress. Well, I just fought one unit of them, but maybe the rest of the Rosh Brigade took care of them. Hopefully we avoided the worst case scenario. Still, we can't relax yet. What do you mean? The moment I realized the troops in the Grand Plain were a decoy, I cursed my carelessness. What do you mean you were careless? But even amid such chaos, your men defended the fortress admirably. Yeah, and we're just rookies! You are indeed the young lion of Alistair. I'm impressed. Most impressive. Your praise is an honor, but all I did was accomplish the mission. Diaz himself was commanding the enemy knights on the front line. Well, yeah, we're almost in their territory. But it seems that Count Selvon's troops were the ones given the covert sabotage operation. Uh -huh. It was truly my mistake to have fallen for it. It's in the past. Had I been in your shoes, I would have marched on Diaz without a second thought. That was too large a prize to pass up. They would have stormed the fortress had it not been for your brigade. This must be the fruit of the Prophet Noah's guidance. To respond in kind, I will inform headquarters of this victory personally. So, are we going to be in charge then? Thank you very much, but please don't go out of your way to lavish praise upon us. <laughs> Indeed. The rumor mill can be truly dreadful. 
If talk were to put one of the dignitaries in a foul mood. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Hugo. That's not what I was implying. Don't worry, I understand. Now please, take the rest of the day to recuperate. Starting tomorrow, I will need to rely on you yet again. What do you mean? Understood. You're free to go. Dismissed. I hope you'll reward the efforts of your subordinates. Well, they didn't give me any money. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your consideration. We're lucky we got anything from them. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, really? Whoa, the field marshal may act like a hardliner, but she's just a softie underneath. Aww. Well, then this calls for a toast to the young lions of Alistel. Oh, come on. Can you cool it with the young lions thing? Sorry, but even Field Marshal Viola's troops have caught on. That's... I mean, good, good. If she's the Valkyrie, then Captain Rosh and Sergeant Stock are the young lions. Um, sure, okay. And for the record, I think it's very fitting. I'm just happy to fight under such amazing leadership. Young lions, huh? I think it's got a nice ring to it. Why can't you two just accept praise and move on? Doesn't it feel good every once in a while? It's thanks to you two that we came out alive. Yeah, it would have felt a lot better if we didn't have constant death threats. A toast to our officers. <sighs> okay, okay. Just don't let it get out of hand, guys. I thought Viola was going to meet with Everyone. us tomorrow. What's the matter, Keel? Field Marshal Viola and the Captain would like to have a word with you in the hall. All right. We'll head right over. And what do they want? Ah, oh, there you are. I know this is going to sound sudden. But I've been ordered to return to Alistair. Already? Well, that is rather sudden considering we were just sent here. Just you, though, Captain? Yeah, looks that way. I reported your remarkable service in the fort's defense to headquarters. It seems General Hugo was quite moved. Oh! Well, I guess we had him all wrong. My understanding is that they plan to celebrate your victory with some pomp and circumstance. But why single me out? The entire brigade performed admirably. Yeah, what about Rainy and Marco? And we never would have succeeded were it not for stock. Rush. Yeah, what's up, Stock? Do you remember our conversation from the other day? Oh. What conversation? We have a whole lot of them every day. We can't rule out the possibility that Hugo is scheming something. Hmm. You're right. I'll be careful. Tread lightly. What, no sepia tones for the flashback? What gives, game? Yeah, I'm sure he'll be just fine. That reminds me, you should come along too, Kiel. Me? But I'm practically still a new recruit, Captain. I believe Sergeant Stock should go instead. Come on, use your head. If he comes with me, who's going to look after the men that are still stationed here? I would think Viola would be in charge. Oh, true. Go on, you shouldn't argue with the Captain's orders. That's right, Kiel. Someone needs to pick up that medal in stock stead. Understood. We just won a single battle here. I'll perform my duty as the sergeant stand-in to the best of my ability. It looks like everything's been taken care of then. Don't worry about your men. I'll look after them too. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, I did say. <laughs> I'm sure the sergeant would appreciate any help he can get. You know me too well, game. Thank you for your consideration, Field Marshal Viola. Don't mention it. 
anything for the young lion of Alistel. <laughs> I'd appreciate if you didn't call me that. <laughs> I was just teasing. Now, you should depart immediately for Alistel. Hold your head up high and stand proud to the public. Yeah, just watch out for the sandworms on the way back. Yes, ma'am. Well then, we'll head out. Kiel. Uh, is something wrong, Sergeant Stock? How's it going? I want you to be cautious around General Hugo. Don't let Rosh out of your sight. What do you mean? Uh -huh. What do you mean? <laughs> it's possible Hugo may have it out for us. But how could he? Sergeant, you, you shouldn't say things like that. Uh, understood. I thought you worshipped the ground I walked on. I don't see the big picture, but I'll be vigilant. And I'll stay right by the captain's side. Just keep him safe, dude. I'm counting on you. Someone's gotta have his back. It seems the mass production of Thaw Machines is going smoothly. And the Divine Judgment? What's that? It's coming along. Or it would be, at least, except for one thing. Which is... I'm not making sculptures to be displayed in the square, no? Well, then what are you making? The worst fate for men like me is to settle for our creations never seeing any use. How much longer are you going to force me to go on like this? Who knows? I recall you once saying you'd be happy as long as you could continue your research. Uh, that's not the point! Then make it. If that isn't the point, Fennel, I advise you to stop trying our patience and get on with it. Fine, fine. I'll just ask. Why won't you send my Thor machines into the front lines? I keep hearing they're being held in reserve for your own personal troops. Oh. Um, well, yeah, we kind of have to protect our leaders. If this goes on, they may as well be statues. They are. Army policy must consider the grand scheme of things. Stop. Enough. That's not what I want to hear. I barely had a scrap of useful combat data for several months. Couldn't you just do a test? I do and more. What I mean is, now is not the time to focus on manufacturing these things. And what will you do when the mass-produced models have a critical flaw? Die. Theory isn't practice. A weapon isn't truly usable until there's data that supports it. Mechanical improvements made little by little, that's what will create the perfect weapon. And for that, I need data, raw data, as much as I can get. <laughs> You're truly a difficult one to please. Well, yeah, he is an engineer. No wonder you're the most celebrated Thaumatech engineer in Vancouver. There's other Thaumatech engineers? General, I came here for one reason. I was told that I'd be able to do all the research I please. If my work is going to continue to be held back by the military's big-headedness... Hmm. What do you want me to do? I've been telling you, I want data. You want me to give you some soldiers to get beat up by that thing? I'm not picky. Can't you dispatch a large force soon? A typically troublesome demand. But is it really? What do you mean? Our skirmish at the Sand Fortress didn't go as planned, but it could be considered an opportunity. Oh, it went just great for us, I thought. Are you saying to take our losses in stride and keep pressing the front line forward? Well, why not? We're kicking their ass. Yes, exactly. Then we can give Fennel here what he wants. And if you play your cards right, General Hugo, you can achieve some of your own dreams. What do you mean by that? Or are you still going to claim that there's a reason to draw out the war? Why would you draw out the war if they're gonna try and kill you? 
There's nothing for it, then. I'll have to go with that. We'll have Rosh's brigade make the first move, and deploy four Thaw machines to the fortress. Lord! <laughs> that would be excellent. I must hurry and make the necessary preparations. Hey, hey all right. Ah, oh, date. The beautiful crystals of promise and potential. <laughs> well, at least someone's happy around here for a change. You've returned, Stock. You did a good job finding the bomb set up by Granorg. Oh yeah, I just walked around and looked. But a new threat unlike anything you've encountered thus far draws near. How powerful could it possibly be? Please be careful, Stock. Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. Well, at least I'm doing better in this timeline. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? No, no, I think we're good. We'll just head on over to the Dunamis, I guess. Well, Nemesia has something else for us to do there. What artifact has Nemesia found this time? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is the Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! <laughs>